Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's HH Aviation here and welcome to a brand new video. Um, today what we're going to be doing is, is we're going to be looking at the one and only Jetstream Designs Nantes Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So ladies and gentlemen, this scenery cost about on sim market at 18 euros which is about 15 British pounds and 22 dollars. Okay ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see we're spawned in on the ground at Nantes Airport located in what I would say is North West France. And from uh, initial looks at the scenery when I first initially brought it and have used it in previous live streams, I really am in love with the scenery. I think it is an absolute brilliant scenery and I think Jetstream Designs have gone unnoticed with the scenery and definitely should get some more recognition. And I just wanted to share my thoughts with you lot to share the scenery with you because I think it's absolutely amazing and I think everyone should get it. It's definitely the best one that I've seen. So, heading down now over to the airport. Having a little look at the outside of the airport, we can see the detail that they've gone into with the sign and the fact that they've put Hall 1. This is not noticeable if you were just to fly around in your planes and stuff like that, but it's also a nice added touch as well as a little car park and uh, some advertisement on the, I believe this is car parking for the airport. As you can see, the Eurocar, Hertz, and so on and so on. As well as they've parked a few stationary coaches outside. The detail on the outside of the airport really is quite phenomenal, considering my settings and also the fact that you're not really going to see this really if you're flying around on the other side of the airport. Now taking a look at the ground textures and markings for the airport, we can see that they're pretty decently coloured, very very nice, uh, clear and basic for everyone to park. The gates are labelled clearly, as you can see 14A, 17A and it's very easy to understand which is really good for when you're on the ground in ATC, on like FATSIM or IVAO and you need to get to your gate and taxi around the airport efficiently. As you can see the grass looks quite flick, quite nice in my opinion, it looks quite smooth, it gives me like a holiday feel, I don't know that's probably just me but I think it's quite nice. And you can see the signs, that are added quite nicely and it's quite pretty well textured. Okay so moving on to the terminals, we can see that the terminals have a nice see through glass texture as well as the jetways which is pretty cool if you want to do cinematic videos because you can get some cool shots going down the jetway as well as when MFS uh, develops later on we might have passengers walking through these which would be really cool and make it a really cool experience. Turning away from the terminal quickly we can see some static aircraft parked, an Air France, a Transavic and a... Royal Air Maroc, sorry if I said that completely wrong. This is quite a nice touch for those who don't fly on any ATC networks like FATSIM and IVAO because it will provide a nice finishing touch for people who don't have maybe any traffic down here, making it a bit more nice to fly here because you have some uh, standalone aircraft. You can turn it off in the Contrail shop when you get it I believe or however you decide to download it. Now coming over to this side of the airport we can see the detail that's gone into the vents and if we look below the vents we can see some lovely lovely people which is a really nice touch if you're spawning into a GA aircraft or even an AO or any passenger airline that flies here you'd be really amazed at the fact you can just see some passengers down here just chilling out waiting for their planes. Now moving on we can see some GA standalone aircraft this airport is uh, for mainly GA and passengers such airlines such as EasyJet to fly here so let's head on into the terminal okay so turning into the terminal here you can see that we're in the glass interior terminal it looks fairly detailed the structure poles in the middle look pretty fresh I really like the uh, see-through glass you can always turn around get some cool shots of your planes and always say hello to the pilots hello in there so as you can see the jetway is connected it looks pretty pretty cool and it connects really nicely there's no gaps or anything like that but let's that's not the most amazing thing in my opinion let's head over to here little shortcut look at the detail that they've done on the departures 
That is amazing. Jetstream Designs really did not have to do that. They've done advertisement for Air France in here with the little billboards, as obviously Air France flying here, and done a really nice detail inside the terminal, as well as some nice detail going downstairs. But that's really a nice finishing touch if you think about it, because you don't really you don't really come in here. So the fact that they've gone to the extra effort to do that, I think that's absolutely amazing. And you can even see, even down to these little signs here, they put Air France KLM and done some numbers and you just got some passengers patiently waiting for some more uh, planes to arrive which is really really cool now heading back out onto the airfield if we was to have a look at the ground textures and stuff around it looks pretty smooth in my opinion I've got a Europe add-on for the ground vehicle so I'm not sure if this is the ground vehicles for the uh, airport but either way it looks quite nice the ground textures and everything look pretty, uh, I suppose, realistic. They look pretty faded, so war, wear and tear, I suppose. And if we go underneath here, um, we got a nice little ramp going up to the airport, an elevator there, and just some nice markings here, as you can see, bus. And we've got another arrivals uh, thing here for when passengers get off. Now, looking at this scenery in presumably clear skies as you can see it looks pretty good it looks pretty solid and I really do like it but let's see if these textures live up to lots of different weather so let's start with rain so as you can see it's now raining here in Nantes looks pretty good still we've got some taxi lights circling the grass at the moment some taxi lights going down to the runway and the runway looks really nicely lit this airport definitely I'd say looks pretty decent and my frames are still really good considering my settings as you can see the reflection of the rain on the uh, surface of the airport looks really nice it doesn't look uh, really scattered or a bit iffy on the eyes I think it looks really clean and nice to look at now if we take a look at the airport and some snow, you can see all the grass is completely covered. It looks pretty cool, gives you a real nice Christmassy feel. And the airport, it just looks really, really festive in my opinion. I know it's not Christmas all the time, but I really love Christmas, so maybe that's where I get my love for Christmas from. Uh, and the reason I feel really festive when I see all this snow. But the airport looks pretty nice, scattered all around. The terminal is completely covered, as you can see, in snow, um, and it's really nicely detailed on the edges of the bits. Obviously, the whole airport, like the taxiways and everything, like that's not going to be covered in snow because it would have been gritted. So this is pretty realistic, looks pretty nice, and I believe if we look over here, we should we even see it on the um, GA aircraft and all the cars, which is a really nice touch. Now, look at this, night time. Let's have a look at the night time lighting. Personally, I think it looks absolutely amazing. The lighting on the terminals just adds a really nice touch for me, and I really enjoy flying here at night time. As you can see, the tail light is on of on all the aircraft, so that's that's synced in really nicely. And the airport just really looks really like just moving, calm, relaxed at night time. And flying here on like an ATC network or anything like that where there's going to be loads of traffic would look really nice. And the surrounding area just looks really nice with the airport. It settles in nicely. And the runway looks even more better. And it just looks... Honestly, I really, really enjoy nighttime, And I think nighttime is just amazing. So the fact that this scenery, which I love so much, it looks so great at night. I really think it's really nice. The airport is really lit up all over here all on the windows at the top there which they didn't have to be it didn't have to go into the detail that they did um, it just looks really nice really smoothing and I'll definitely recommend it hello everyone now you're joining me on an approach into Nantes daytime we'll also do a nighttime one but let's have a look at what the scenery looks like flying into it as well as having a passenger view replay where we can see the airport as we touch down Personally, I think this scenery is absolutely amazing. Make sure to let me know, guys know what you're thinking in the comments so far. And if there's any other sceneries you want me to do a review on that I have. Right, 134 is our final landing speed. We are three miles out from the airport. Let's bring it in. Let's brace the cabin. I know it's a bit late, but we got it. There we go. 
And now let's bring it in. Nantes, in my opinion, is a lovely little scenery. Lovely little place to fly to as well. In the easy jet, livery, of course. Nantes on the side as well. This is one of the many destinations that EasyJet and other airlines fly to, as well as GA aircraft. And it's quite popular on the ATC networks, especially IVAO. I always see approaching the uh, tower on for it. Okay, let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Looking a bit, little bit tilted over here. So I'm just going to... We've got two whites, two reds, which is perfect. We're looking a little bit fast. But I'm sure we'll be fine. Line up with the runway a bit more. Make sure we're on that center line. Miles off, miles off. Seems to be seems to be a bit windy. Seems to be a bit windy, to be honest. But it's fine. And there we go. Touchdown. Reverse thrust out. Line up again. And cool. We seem to be coming to a stop. Okay, now you join us for our second approach into Nantes. This time, a daytime approach. I mean, nighttime correction. Very sorry about that. It's been a long day. But yeah, nighttime approach, so let's have a look at this. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it looks, more importantly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to have a touchdown. So, let's do this. Bring it down a little bit, just so we manage to touch down on the runway. Okay, bringing it in, bringing it in. Here's the runway. Make sure we're going down. And idle the throttle. We're going a bit fast, so let's just flare. Flare, flare, flare. Perfect, and touchdown. Auto brake. Let's have a little look at our window. Looks pretty good, if I do say so. But now let's get that passenger view. Hello also to end off this video about Nantes, 
uh, airport by Jetstream Designs. This is an amazing scenery. I'm actually blown away by it. And if you watch my lives or my previous videos where I speak in them, um, you'll hear me say it all the time about how much I adore this uh, scenery and absolutely love it. I'll show some of the photos I got when I first purchased it and when I've been flying here. And also, I'll show the Instagram post because I thought it was that good. I even dedicated an Instagram post to it on my uh, socials, which is linked in the description if you want to follow. Um, the link to it on Sim Market and their website where you can purchase it through other ways uh, will be in the description. And I'll see you all in the next one. This has been HH Aviation, and stay safe.